How many animals do you know? There are more than 8 million species out there, so I'm sure there are many of them that you still haven't seen. In fact, I'm pretty sure you don't even know about the existence of many of them. And every year, scientists go out of their comfort zone to explore the world and find new species. Many of them haven't even been identified yet. That's why for today's video, I decided to show you 15 amazing animals that you need to know. With that said though, let's begin, shall we? Our first entry is the Okapi. The one thing that makes this animal stand out is that its legs have some zebra-like stripes. But don't let that fool you. This animal is more related to giraffes than it is to zebras. Some people call it the forest giraffe and some others call it a zebra giraffe. You can recognize the male species thanks to their tiny horns on their foreheads, and these horns are wrapped in skin that never shred. Another cool thing about the Okapi is that it has a very long tongue that it uses to clean its eyelids. Gross, but, well, interesting. This animal is native to the northeastern part of the Republic of Congo, which is why it's also known as the Congolese Giraffe. As of today, the Okapi is considered to be endangered, but there are continuous efforts being made to preserve the species. Our next entry is the Scaly Anteater. These cool animals are also known as pangolins. They love to eat ants, termites, and many other small animals. The one feature that makes them stand out is the presence of scales all over their skin. And while they don't have any teeth, they have long, sticky tongues that can reach for whatever they want to eat. Sometimes their tongues can be longer than the size of an animal's body. And if you ever do spot one of these, you might notice it right away because they tend to roll up in the balls whenever they feel threatened. These animals are in high demand for their use in traditional medicine. Unfortunately, that also makes them a species vulnerable to poaching. However, that is why there are many movements around the world to stop the illegal trading of these animals so they can live in peace. Our next entry is the Mantis Shrimp. Don't take this animal's threats for granted. Even though it's small, scientists have to study it in plastic containers because this mantis shrimp can propel its claws at a speed of 53 miles per hour, which is more than enough to shatter a glass container. While the animal is called mantis shrimp, this actually isn't really a shrimp. However, they all belong to the same family. They can be as big as 10 centimeters long, and a few lucky ones actually reach a size of up to 38 centimeters long. Another cool thing about them is their vivid colors. Yeah, there are some that are brown, but some of them can be bright red. Overall, there are more than 400 species of mantis shrimp, and they're some of the most important predators in shallow tropical and subtropical waters. Our next entry is the Star-Nosed Mole. This animal is almost blind, but that doesn't seem to be an issue. The Star-Nosed Mole has 22 tentacles around its nose, and altogether, these tentacles have about 25,000 sensors. These sensors are called Imer's organs, and they allow the animal to have a very sensitive sense of smell. In fact, their sense of smell is so well developed that they can even detect odors when they're underwater. They also have a good sense of direction and they can respond fast to their environment, even when there's a predator around. The star-nosed mole likes to live in moist and low areas, and it's mostly found on the northern side of the North American continent. Our next entry is the tube-nosed fruit bat. Speaking of strange noses, here's another animal that made it to our list. The tube-nosed fruit bat. This little guy is native to Oceania and some parts of Southeast Asia. You can find it also in some islands north of Australia, but it's also been seen in Indonesia, Philippines, and Papua New Guinea. The name of this bat comes from its nostrils that look like small tubes. This bat loves to eat fruit and its unique nostrils allow it to breathe while it sucks the juice from the fruits that he chooses. Every now and then, they also like to eat insects. Overall, this animal is pretty much safe, but the populations in some remote islands might decrease due to upcoming threats. Our next entry is the Golden Poison Frog. There are two things that make this animal amazing, its size and its bright colors. Some of you might be grossed out by it simply because you hate frogs, and some others might love it because it's a small, cool-looking animal. And some of you might just like frogs as well. But honestly, you might want to stay away from this frog. It's one of the most poisonous animals in the world. And surprisingly, these animals are not born poisonous. They acquire that ability through their diet as they grow up. Now, you don't have to worry too much if you've ever seen one of them. They'll only use their poison as a defense mechanism. But you also need to keep in mind that one dose of their poison is more than enough to kill two elephants. For that reason, you shouldn't provoke them. Note also that they can only be found in Colombia's rainforest, so you don't have to worry about running into these frogs unless you're an unstoppable explorer eager to go to the depths of the Colombian jungle. Our next entry is the Fennec Fox. It's been said that there are more than 30 different types of foxes. 
You can find these animals in different continents and in different environments. The one that's more fit to survive in the desert is the fennec fox. This small animal has large ears and thick fur that allow it to survive the burning sensation of the sand in the environment. According to some people who have seen them, when these animals are happy, they purr just like cats do. Our next entry is the Irrawaddy Dolphin. Dolphins are known for their beak, but did you know that not all of them look like that? The Irrawaddy Dolphin is known for its round face. It almost looks like a small whale. And while this dolphin is not considered an endangered species, you can only find it in certain parts of the world, including the Irrawaddy River in Myanmar, which is where it gets its name from. And while its name is linked to a river, this dolphin is mostly seen in brackish waters. Our next entry is the Goblin Shark. One look at this creature will probably give you nightmares. But don't worry, the Goblin Shark prefers to eat fish, mollusks, and other small sea creatures that live far away from us humans. This shark is known to dislike the light and prefers to live in the depths of the ocean, which led some people to call it the Vampire Shark. Unlike other sharks, the Goblin Shark is not a great swimmer. So, honestly, the odds of us running into one of these is pretty little. The only chance we could ever encounter a goblin shark is if we get really good at scuba diving and decide to go look for him. Our next entry is the giant isopod. And here's another creature that likes to live in the depths of the ocean. I'm sure we could find a lot of strange creatures down there, but let's focus on this one for now. The isopod tends to live between 550 to 7,020 feet underwater, and they are massive. According to scientists, the scales of this animal help it overcome the pressure of the deep ocean. Feeding can be a challenge for them, though, and that's why they'll stop and have a huge meal if they ever come across something that fits their diet. Once they've finished eating, they can go on for years without having another meal since their metabolism tends to be pretty slow. Our next entry is the Axolotl. No, 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 we're not done with water creatures just yet. Like I said, we could find tons of strange creatures down there if we ever decide to explore. But are we brave enough to do it? Nah. Also, I don't think our submarines would really work that well. The Axolotl, which in my opinion looks like a very small Pokemon, is an endangered species that lives in some lakes and canals in Mexico. Some people refer to it as the Mexican walking fish, but it's actually an amphibian, not a fish. And it's also known for the filaments attached to its head that aid in the exchange of gases with the environment. One of its most impressive abilities is regeneration. The Axolotl can grow new appendages if they ever get hurt. And in some cases, they can also grow back their tails, limbs, and other vital structures. Our next entry is the Pink Fairy Armadillo. You might be around this animal someday, but you might not even see it. And that's because the Pink Fairy Armadillo spends most of its life digging underground. The animal is native to central Argentina, and we don't know much about it because not many people there have been lucky enough to see them. And yeah, I'm sure some people have tried to keep them at home, but these animals do not like to live in captivity. And also, they don't get along with dogs, cats, and pigs that intrude in their living space. The pink fairy armadillos love their freedom, and once they're locked, they don't last longer than a few hours, or eight days if they're lucky. Our next entry is the Ocean Sunfish. What's the heaviest fish that you've found? And no, whales don't count, those are not fish. Whatever it was, it couldn't have been heavier than the Ocean Sunfish, which is the heaviest bony fish in the world. Some people also call it the mola, and its size can be as big as 14 by 10 feet. That's at least twice the size of a human being. And when it comes to weight, they really do beat records. The heaviest specimen ever found was 2,300 kilograms, which is more than 5,000 pounds. Sometimes they like to come up to the surface just so the seabirds can remove the parasites from their bodies, which is a great example of collaboration. The sunfish gets clean and the seabird gets something to eat. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The pictures I chose for the day shows us a pair of very unique and pretty scary animals, actually. A snake with a cat's head and a lion with an eagle's head. Both of them are mythical creatures. The cat-headed snake was seen by some people in the Owls back in 1711, and the eagle-headed lion, also known as a griffin, is a popular figure in Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cultures. As of today, no one can confirm the existence of these animals, but at the top of the list I have two other animals that do exist and I'm sure will blow your mind. Our first one is the red-lipped batfish. This fish can only be found in the Galapagos Islands, although it is closely related to the rosy-lipped batfish, which is a similar creature that lives off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica on an island called Cocos. I guess I don't need to explain why this fish made it to our list. I mean, seriously, just look at its mouth. It looks like the fish put on lipstick. 
And the other surprising thing about these animals is that they're not actually good swimmers, even though they're fish. And so they use their fins to roll around and walk on the ocean floor. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry is the bear cat. We might not have a cat snake or an eagle lion in the world, yet. But we definitely have a bear cat, which is also known as the binturong. One thing you could say about this animal is that it has a very peculiar smell. People who have actually gotten close to it say that the animal smells like, of all things, popcorn. If you ever want to see one, you'll have to travel to Southeast Asia. More specifically, you'll have to visit the tall forests all the way from India to Sumatra and Kalimantan in Indonesia. As of today, the Binturong is vulnerable to becoming endangered unless we do something about the declining population that's been going on since the 80s. These are all the amazing animals I got for you today. Which one is your favorite? Which one would you like to see someday? Let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.